The Heroes Appreciation Breakfast will be held on November 2nd, 2024, West Bloomfield Middle School, honoring veterans and their families for the service. And it's a great event that we want to actually help, uh, uh, be a part of and support locally right here. So with us right here live on the Splash to give out more details about this event and its purpose, we have the WB Parks from Marketing and Communications Manager, Megan Tahako. How you doing, Megan? Good morning. I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me on today. Absolutely. So let's just talk about it. I gave a little bit of details already, but let's just talk about how the idea of this Heroes Appreciation Breakfast came about, please. Yeah. So back in, gosh, 2018, I guess, um, our recreation superintendent at the time, Kelly Heyer, who's now our executive director, um, she really wanted to kind of rethink how we were celebrating veterans mm -hmm. in our community. And so she came up with this concept of our Heroes uh, Appreciation Breakfast. And since then, it has just evolved and grown into just a really wonderful community celebration. Yes, we love that, too. And can you just speak a little bit about the evolution of the event, how it has changed from the first year in, what, 2018 B.C., before Corona, to, to right now, 2024? Exactly. Yep. So back then we were uh, hosted by the Orchard Mall, which was really kind of them to give us their space um, to host the event. Um, since then, we've outgrown that space. There's so many veterans mm. in our community um, and word has gotten out about how great this event is. So a few years ago, we transitioned over to the West Bloomfield Middle School once that facility was opened. Um, and we included the school district as one of our partners. So it's been really great working with them and hosting the event in a larger space. Um, and that space is just really kind of perfect for this type of event. So yeah. it's worked out really well. And we're just we're really grateful that they're allowing us to come in every year and help the event. Let me tell you one thing that I like to hear about events that are annual or, or just, you know, frequent is to hear growth. Oh, man, we had people come. There had so many people. We had to get a bigger venue or we had to do this. We had to get more sponsors. And I love that because, like you said, we are supporting local veterans, people who have fought for this country, living in our area, and it's just a way to say, hey, thank you for your service and everything that you've done. With us right here live on the Splash from WB Parks Marketing and Communication Manager, Megan Tahako talking about the Heroes Appreciation Breakfast, November 2nd, 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., West Bloomfield Middle School. Have you had any, you, you spoke about it before, about the word going around town about how great it is. Can you just speak a little bit more about maybe some of the feedback you've heard from some of our local veterans about this event? Yeah, I think the veterans just do feel really appreciated at the event. Everything is completely free for them. We make sure to give them a really nice gift bag every year uh, with donations from the local business community. Mm -hmm. um, so the feedback from them has always been really nice. And then also just from a community partnership and our local business partners from their perspective. I think it's something we look forward to every year. You don't always get the chance to thank a veteran. Um, and this is just a really special event where we get to um, bring all of our veterans together and, and just have a great morning of appreciation. There's, there's something else that I'm seeing here, um, if I'm not mistaken. You actually have speakers. You have speakers that come there also. First, first two-part question. First, how do you go about selecting the speakers and then talk about the importance as to why having a speaker there is, is valuable? Yeah, we try to bring in a variety of speakers so that it's not the same program every single year. Um, so this year, we're really honored and excited. We have a really high-ranking official from the Michigan Army National Guard. Um, and so there's not really a set process. If anybody knows of any local veterans um, that maybe be, uh, might be interested in speaking, we would love to hear from you. Um, we just always try to bring in different people each year to speak to the veterans. Um, this is the first year that we're bringing in an active duty service member. So that's kind of a unique mm. um, twist that we're doing this year. We also are bringing in a new um, group to handle our entertainment. So Harmony Town Chorus will be our musical group for this year's event. Um, so I'm really excited to have them as well. Nice, nice. So, uh, it, see, uh, we're looking at some photos on civiccentertv.com right now as well. Looks like a great event, just looking at that photo alone. This isn't just done by WB Parts, though, also. So let's speak about the collaboration between uh, WB Parts of Schools and other local uh, organizations on how this enhances the event. Absolutely. This is certainly an event that we can't do all on our own. So. Mm -hmm. We're really, really grateful for our partners. We work really closely with the West Bloomfield Township Public Library, uh, West Bloomfield Township, and then the West Bloomfield School District. 
Um, those are our three main partners. And then we're also very grateful to have Civic Center TV uh, do a live broadcast of the event every year. I think that's so important, especially for this event, for maybe veterans that are homebound or can't get out of their home to actually enjoy the breakfast. They can at least enjoy it from the comfort of their living room. So um, those are our four main partners for this event, and we're just it, we're really grateful for all of their support. Absolutely. I know we couldn't end this segment without at least mentioning the people who are a part of this and make it possible also as well as WB Parks. Now, if anyone is watching, listening, hearing about this, and maybe they just want to attend and are not a veteran, or maybe they just want to volunteer, what steps would they take to actually get involved with this? Absolutely. So if you want to come and just enjoy the program, enjoy breakfast, maybe thank a veteran while you're there, you can register yourself. Um, there is a fee associated with that. Um, if you are looking to volunteer, we certainly do still need some more volunteers um, for setting up for the event the day before, as well as um, actually helping to serve our veterans the morning of. So both of, both of those um, opportunities are available on our website. Um, so if you go to wbparks.org slash veterans, it'll get you where you need to be. Perfect, perfect. And before we officially let you go and land our plane, Megan, I want to give you the opportunity again. More uh, uh, details about this event, time, location, date, uh, and any other steps required to attend. Absolutely. I do also want to just mention um, all of our businesses that are supporting this event. Oh, please. Our, our costs this year, like everything else, have kind of skyrocketed. Mm. So we really asked our local business community to step up and help us offset some of the those costs and they certainly did. So we have 16 businesses that are partnering with us this year to help support this event and allow us to offer it um, completely free to veterans. So we're oh, so yes. grateful to them. Um, I also just want to remind anyone that might be watching at home, you can register by calling our main line, which is 248-451-1900. You can also do it online at wbparks.org. The registration deadline is October 23rd, so please register yourself prior to that. We just have to get all of our counts in so we have enough food ordered for everyone. Um, so please give us a call or register online if you'd like to join us that morning. Absolutely. Heroes Appreciation Breakfast, November 2nd, 9, 1030, West Bloomfield Middle School. Once again, from WB Parks, the Marketing and Communications Manager, Megan Tahako. thank you again for your time. Thank you. Have a great day.